Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. So in this one then, we're going to be looking at some successful Shopify dropshipping stores, not just dropshipping, but e-commerce in general. So I'm a big believer in when it comes to learning to do anything successfully, not just business, not just e-commerce, then the best people to learn from are those people who are already doing it successfully. So for example, you wouldn't learn how to play the piano from somebody who doesn't know how to play the piano. You wouldn't learn how to box, how to do some form of a martial art from somebody who hasn't practiced it and knows how to do it themselves. And the same thing, as I just said, applies to dropship and applies to business. So in my opinion then, once a week, you should always be looking at successful Shopify stores. Um, just go through them, make notes of what kind of products they're selling, the things you do and don't like about their Shopify stores, the kind of strategies they're implementing for their content. Um, and that's basically what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. So there's a couple of stores quite successful in their own right that I wanna show you. And I'm just gonna show you um, what I would do as I go through then the kind of notes I would make and the kind of things that I pick up on um, that I will implement into my own stores. So with that being said guys thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoy this one if you do please do make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed my content and want to see more of it please do make sure you subscribe um, and let's jump straight into it. So the first store I want to show you guys is called jollypatch.com when it comes to looking at stores so this is the exchange marketplace basically it's where people come to sell their Shopify stores you can see what kind of numbers and things they've done um, but the first thing I'm looking for then, not this one, this one is I want to establish how successful they actually are because a lot of stores, um, I was about to say it's easy to kind of make loads of money and then just kind of fall off the grid. It's not easy, of course, but it's even more harder than to kind of sustain successful sales month after month after month over, say, like a 12 month period. So first thing I want to look at then is their performance. Um, these, as it says here, not there, sorry, further down here. So revenue data comes directly from Shopify, can't be edited by the seller. Um, so there's no kind of trickery going on when it says they've done eight hundred and eighty six thousand um, dollars in revenue they've done eight hundred and eighty six thousand dollars in revenue and what is really interesting about this is the store is for sale even though they've just had their best month so in june 2020 they did nearly quarter of a million which is obviously very very good um, which is a great sign it shows this particular product is in demand so essentially what i'm about to show you is pretty much a proven seven figure product almost um, in terms of the total traffic half a million so that's a really good conversion rate of sales to traffic as a rough kind of guide or rule of thumb for every visit you get to your store you want to try and be aiming for about one pound or one dollar of turnover so the fact they've done more sales and they have traffic is a great sign the next thing i am looking at now not all stores or not all listings on um, exchange marketplace will give you but what i'm trying to find out is their returning customer rate which we can see is 3.65 percent because the higher your customer rate is then the stronger kind of following the stronger your email list will be one kind of downfall to drop shipping is because of the long shipping times or one to two weeks whatever you want to call them um, your returning customer rate can sometimes be quite difficult to kind of maintain so the higher the customer rate the better the stronger kind of following you have the more people who are going to be coming back for you and the key to having a profitable and sustainable business over the course of a long term um, is having a high customer rate because it increases your customer lifetime value customer lifetime value and that's really important if you want to build and sustain a profitable business one final thing then i want to show you guys before we move into having a look at their store um, is their expenses because it kind of puts into context the kind of business model these guys are running um, obviously they have a shopify plan they have a domain and they have paid apps of 135 dollars per month the other expense as well is facebook ads which is about 20k per month so as you can see these guys are running a shopify drop shipping store and the main their sales all of their sales are pretty much coming from facebook ads so in terms of kind of like the history of content i put out on this channel it's all pretty much geared around facebook ads and shopify and dropship and e-commerce and products so these guys essentially are implementing the very business model um, that i teach people on this youtube channel that being said let's jump into their website um, i really like their website because it's just a really good example of how simplicity is often not the best option you can have um, they have notification or announcement bar at the top whatever you want to call it it mentions the whole COVID-19 you need to have this on your stores uh, the number one question visitors will be having when they come onto any website is is this business still fully functioning is it still open if I place an order are they going to dispatch it so you need a um, note like this one is clearly displaying they have a nice kind of bright 
um, high quality image displaying the product here and just in case you don't know what the product is it's basically a patch you can put on you um, a sticky patch you can put on your kids send them off to school um, and it will supposedly keep away the mosquitoes so it'll prevent them from getting bitten um, quite a nice little product is quite inexpensive it's very kind of relevant this time of year um, which is translated into the sales that I just showed you they've just had their very best month and a product like this is always going to do well um, during the summer months which is obviously when the mosquitoes come out this is the product then as simple as it is 16 pounds for a bunch of 60 stickers and they've done nearly a million dollars in revenue it wouldn't surprise me this is the sort of product that you don't have to get from China there will be someone in the UK someone in the US someone in the Canon in Canada um, that can drop ship these for you act as a supplier so you'll be able to offer some pretty um, decent shipping rates and speeds they've got obviously loads and loads of reviews again the number one I've spoken about this in almost every video I do where I'm talking about Shopify stores the key thing you will have to overcome as people coming onto your stores is that doubt of whether people are actually going to receive their products they won't trust you and you have to give them a reason to trust you and you do this by building credibility to build credibility you have all the kind of expected things that a customer will want to see they'll want to see reviews if we go to the bottom they'll want to see contact information things like a proper email address um, a physical address if you can you can use a PO box you can use a virtual office they'll want to see a telephone number too if I haven't already mentioned that um, just the more you can do to kind of instill in your customers mind that peace of mind um, then the better the next thing I want to show you guys then is not this I'm skipping ahead of myself so they have nearly 5,000 likes which isn't a crazy following considering they've done nearly a million dollars in revenue but I'm just going to scroll down to July 19th and we're going to look through their content because this is a really important thing that a lot of people actually forget to do so the post date of this was July 19th the post date of this was July 20th now they're not getting crazy engagement but they don't need to the fact that they're posting on a daily basis so the next one is July 21st then July 22nd July 23rd July 24th the fact they're posting on a daily basis shows anybody who comes onto this page that this business is very much active and running which is obviously a good sign if somebody comes onto your Facebook page and your last post was from three months ago immediately they're going to be thinking well is this page is this business still in business and it doesn't look very trustworthy and like I said even though they're not getting much engagement it doesn't matter the fact they're still posting is the key thing another thing too every post isn't just about buying a product so they're not just saying this is our product buy it this is our product buy it. as you can see they have a product post then like a not a meme but just like a random post random post random post random post and then a product post they're not just spamming people telling people to buy their product on a daily basis which is ultimately nobody wants to get spammed with ads or being told to um, buy a particular product so it's a good way of getting people to follow you and then stay following you as well the next store I want to show you guys then is called Sanavo shop com um, these guys are doing incredibly well if we take a look at their sales volumes we can see they've done over two million dollars in revenue um, last month they did 60k which was one of their worst months so in terms of somebody potentially wanting to buy this I'll be pretty hesitant but it's good for research purposes because we can look at their store we can see what their best selling product is um, in terms of the business model that they're running then we can see they obviously have all the um, kind of ones you'd expect they also have employees at $350 a month so they're obviously outsourcing probably things like um, order fulfillment and then they're also spending money 60 grand to be exact um, on Facebook ads each month so again these guys are using the exact same business model that I teach on this channel if we take a look at their website this is essentially what a two million dollar website looks like so again it doesn't have to be crazy crazy special just have to make sure you do the fundamentals correctly keep it simple as possible and then as long as you've got a good product and good ad campaign then you're going to succeed so everything looks quite clean and clinical um, as you would expect for a particular product like this just to confirm as well if we use Shopify inspector and go to the best sellers this is their best selling product so chances are they've done way over seven figures with this just one product it's not a cheap product either at 70 pounds which just goes to show when it comes to drop shipping a big misconception people think you have to sell cheap crappy plasticky products um, that's not the case and this is a great example of that a couple of things that stick out to me then is they have this verified by auto Keaton like an order notification just for that extra kind of social proof that people are buying these things and see this shadow under the add to cart button now that's just a nice little touch you won't see on many Shopify stores but it just makes the whole store feel and look a bit more professional so it's often those small touches which can make all the difference um, their products 
the description again it's nothing really that special they have more images as we move down they talk about the different benefits and capabilities of this product the different applications so again all the information is there in an easy to digest and consume way um, a great little video here again just demonstrating exactly what the product does the relief it can put on your knees it's clearly defining the market clearly defining the benefits and features of the particular product if we move down there's some social proof here so love mine different comments off of Facebook recent comments too which is key um, to building that credibility they have some great reasons to buy from us and then this looks like looks to me if I scroll down it doesn't say on this page but it looks like looks it's image reviews image reviews are proven to do better than just text ones um, again just building overall credibility for this store if we have a look at the contact us I'm sure the store with this capability is probably got all the required information they have support staff so they've even got like kind of opening hours again something that you would expect to see from a legitimate business they have a contact number and they also had a head office location too in summary then it's all the expected contact information that you would expect to find for, for any business if somebody goes onto your store and there's no email address and no phone number number and no physical address it's going to look like a scam because people want to know they want to be reassured that if there's any issues whatsoever with their payment with that order not arriving that there's going to be somebody that can that's going to be on the end of the phone will reply to that email or an even physical address that they can contact so just make sure you have all of these basics just a couple more things then to finish the video on which is quite surprising for products like this given the price and given the type of product I mean people only really have one set of knees they still have a really high uh, returning customer rate of 6.85% just shows the quality of the product and how well the product actually does what it promises um, if we have a look at their product range there's other things so what I would guess is that people buy this and because it is such a good product they perhaps buy another pair for their partner for a friend or family member um, or even come back and invest in one of these products too the other thing I wanted to show you guys as well is not on this screen is on they have a track order at the top which is good because there's information about the orders um, once they've been shipped again all the kind of information that a customer would expect to be able to find out and even though these guys are saying please allow four to six weeks they're still doing really really good numbers so it just goes to show if you have a really good brand that's built up with a loyal customer base you can still succeed I mean it says there's going to be an estimated average of 7 to 21 business days which is typical with drop shipping but for all the people that post in groups or contact me saying do people really buy if shipping can take this long and um, this is just proof evidence that they do um, you just have to have a strong brand and a really good product behind it too and with that being said guys i'm going to wrap the video up there um, i really hope you enjoyed this i really hope you actually took something away from it too um, if you did please do make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it please do make sure you hit that like button too and of course if you want to see more content of mine um, three to four videos per week um, please do make sure you subscribe as well before you go though i just want to quickly mention i do run a training um, course it's called the Ecom Academy. There's over 100 videos. It comes with my full support and guidance too. So if it is the sort of thing you'd be interested in, um, check out the links in the description below. It'll take you to the page, which will show you all the different information and things that come with it. Um, and apart from that, have a great day. Have a great evening, wherever you are. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.